Hi, I'm Joji B and this is Jo on the go. Hi, today I'm meeting Bryony Blake, makeup expert on This Morning and backstage at Strictly Come Dancing and we're going to reveal a few of her talents. Chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang. when you said that, we were like, what? <laughs> that was really good. I liked that. Hi, it's Jo on the go and I'm here today. Oh, so thrilled. She's gorgeous. Look at those cheeks. Oh my She's god. So sweet. Bryony Blake. Hi. Makeup artist extraordinaire. Ah. All the TV celebs in particular adore her backstage. Bless you. On oh, let's think now. Strictly this morning makeup expert. Yeah. Uh X Factor. Uh Britain's Got Talent. Yep. What am I missing here? Oh, do you, pretty much most of the name shows drop, are on, name drop dance time. on and television. <laughs> um, I've done a lot of like The Voice. I've done. I mean, the thing is, I don't work on all of these now, like I have done. Mm. So you know, a bit of The Voice, Catchphrase, Family Four. Catch you know, phrase. you name it. Any show, I've pretty much. <laughs> I've walked in at least, <laughs> or powdered someone at some point. Yeah, so. So how does that work? Do you, do you are you literally sort of backstage and and you know you're assigned to a show or like so your diary just gets filled up like that? Is that? How yeah, that? I mean pretty much most of the time, like with designers, for instance. So mm. I, you know, a lot of the makeup designers that get the shows like Britain's Got Talent or X Factor or Strictly, mm. um, they usually put together a team. Mm. So I'm usually on their team. Yeah, one of the team members. Mm. Yeah. So and some of them I've been on for a long time, and it tends to be the same group of people that we work with. Mm. So it's great. It's like a really close family. And it's, it's quite unusual, the group that I work with, because we are really good friends. Mm. So, you know, if anyone hasn't got a job or if anyone needs someone or if I can't do my job and I need my client looked after, I will forward mine of my friends. Mm. Or, so it's a really lovely little kind of makeup community that I work with, which I love. And they're mm. amazing artists. So you're watching and learning constantly yeah, from yeah. each other, which is great. And also you're work, always working, primarily working with, with um, celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, so you you get known with those people? Yeah, quite a lot. I mean, it's funny. I don't really think about it like that because everyone goes, oh, who's the most famous person you work with? And I'm like, well, I work in, um, you know, Just most of my stuff is TV. <laughs> so, you know, and I don't realise until I'm actually there on a show, let's mm. say. Um, so like on Saturday Night Takeaway, we have loads of people coming in and out of that show yeah. all the time. Yeah. And I forget that I've worked yeah. with so many people. And you go, oh, hi, how are you? And everyone goes, God, you know everyone. And I go, well... I've kind of been doing it for such a long time now that you kind of, you know, mm. the same faces cross paths. Or... Yeah. So is there anyone who, if you passed in the corridor or they were suddenly sitting in your chair, you'd be like, oh, I don't know, where, oh, my heart, I'm so happy, I love oh. you. I mean, that's the thing. It's really funny. It's, it's usually like mm. that kind of guy from school that, you know, if you fancy me, you kind of ignore them. You're like, oh, hi, yeah, just take a seat. <laughs> and you're like, just going, are you allergic to anything or anything like that? But secretly you're like going, oh, my God, this person's in my chair. I mean, people that I don't, I mean, in fairness, I'm, it's not someone that I've necessarily like really found. I mean, I'm a massive movie buff. Like, mm. I love films. Yeah. And I'm actually quite glad I didn't go into film because I think it would ruin it, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes a lot so of sense. Yeah. I, I, I think if I got a movie star in my chair, I think I'd feel a bit mm. about that. Um, but, I mean, we've had some amazing people. Like when, you know, luckily when we work on Strictly, we have like some incredible yes. acts that come on. So mm. we've had like take that gaga um beyonce um you know God, course, michael buble yeah. like all yeah, of those yeah. people that come on ed mm. sheeran mm. um oh. so when you kind okay. of you do meet them as in they walk past you and they're like hi mm. and the one person that you always get told like oh you know right it's close set you're not allowed to watch them rehearse or anything like that can i just say we had the backstreet boys the other day that was I didn't realise how much of a fan I was, but I knew every word to every song. I've got few, I don't know any of them. We were loving life in the studio. I'm so much older than you. It was you. hilarious. Jesus. I know, but like, Backstreet Boys, they're amazing. But I remember Gaga was in doing with something with Tony Bennett, and we were all like, oh, you know, guys, you're not really allowed to talk to her, blah, 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 close set, fine. We were like, yeah, cool. Anyway, I was in the corridor on, on the phone to someone. I think it might have been my boyfriend at the time, and they all kind of walked through, and Gaga was like, hi, how are you? I was like, hi. I didn't do that, but you know, like, yeah, hi. <laughs> oh my God, Gaga just walked past me. And we were kind of like told not to say anything. And then she actually came back after, because they always have a performance while mm. they sing. You know, and they were, they had a great report. I saw that. Oh it was amazing. God, it was an, and we watched it and it was so incredible. good. Yeah. But she actually came back and kind of, 
I was doing someone's makeup at the time, just touch-ups, and she came into the room and was like, guys, I just want to say you do such an awesome job. And we all, I literally stopped and went, shh, 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 over there. She just came into the makeup room and told us we were amazing. And that was really, like, we all that's, just, like, everyone just, like, dropped everything, just got really quiet. Really and nice. we were like, wow, yeah. for A, someone to even bother come into, like, mm. our room, because mm. our room's frantic and things. Mm. I mean, that was amazing. That, so that was... That and says a lot, doesn't it? I'd love to mm. make her up. I think mm. she's quite a unique God, she's incredible. person. She never looks so. the same one minute. Yeah, fun. One minute to next, not even one day, no. one hour. But she's got yeah, a great incredible. face, so, yeah. yeah. She, and she reminds me of Barbara Streisand a lot. I know that sounds weird, but she really does. She's a kind of modern well, so Barbara You've Streisand. seen the film. I'm seeing it tomorrow. So, yeah. yeah. So you have the advantage But there. even I mean, before that, stuff, I find really? her profile yeah. and her face and stuff. There's something about her that's... But I know what you mean, because in that, in that video with Tony Bennett, yeah. you can see it yeah. completely. Yeah, she's got that she's kind the, of... She's the modern, yeah, the icon. modern Barbara. Yeah, yeah I love totally. it. Yeah. Oh, she's, 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 she's Gaga. She's not anyone else. Is she? No, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that is true. Cool. That's cool. Um, and uh, what's the new show you're going to be working on? So I'm working on a brand new show which is for BBC, which is very exciting actually, it's called The Greatest Dancer. Mm. So I mean I've worked on a lot of music shows, I've worked on a lot of dance shows, but this one's very different. It's any dance, mm. any dance at all, right. is welcome. And basically the audience who are sitting in the auditorium they have complete control whether or not they go through or not <gasps> so even you've got the judges who's cheryl cole i don't know if you can call her cole anymore just cheryl oh, cheryl just cheryl um matthew morrison from glee who is the right. main guy from glee who's yeah, yeah. amazing mm. um and he's an incredible dancer as well and then you've got ot mabuso who's one of the main dancers on strictly mm. um and the three of them together on a panel are actually really fun like mm. it's a kind of random one when you first see it you're a bit like oh okay um, but the show's really like, oh mm. my God. And so they're real people who've applied. Yeah, so real people have applied. Some of them are dancers, some of them aren't, some mm. of them are just kids, some of them are groups, like any kind of dancing mm. whatsoever. It was amazing. So that starts, um, the live show start in February. So I'm looking forward but to that. Surely the greatest dancer will be someone who is a well, dancer. Well, I don't know, you know, mm. it, because again, uh, the audience have a lot of, you know, I don't know how they're going to do the votes when it comes to the actual live shows, because they've obviously already chosen mm. their people that they're allowed yeah, to go yeah, through. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, it was completely and utterly up to the audience. So it's quite mm. interesting yeah, when you true. when you have that yeah. decision, because actually it had nothing to do with the judges. Yeah. So, How did you first work your way into makeup? Um, I always wanted to be an artist, even when I was at school. And when I was a kid, I used to always draw all the time at the kitchen table, constantly. I had like this little whole kind of cartoon going on with like you know had like it was actually like a story but in pictures um so I used to do that constantly and my mum still got it I think um and I just always knew I wanted to do that but then I think it's one of those things that when you think about what you want I always wanted to be an artist but I didn't know what kind of artist and then I just one day thought what do I really love and I love film hmm. and I love people and I kind of combine the three things that I really love and hmm. you kind of at that point being a makeup artist actually wasn't that known or yeah, that yeah. much of a big deal That's very smart of you so get... yeah i kind of and i and funny enough i i'm still very good friends with all the friends i went to school with and mm. they were always saying to me you always knew you wanted to do that because mm. i always used to paint their faces like my friend oh. used to come round, and my mum was a tv presenter so she used to have one of those old boxes of makeup mm. you know yeah and she used to do lots of plays and be a, a drama yeah. teacher so I used to make up my friends all the time when they came over mm. from school. And you and had that insight. Yeah. So, yeah and they, we used to do the game where I'd make them up, they'd make me up, and you mm. weren't allowed to see each other until they, like, you weren't allowed to actually look at each other's work. <laughs> and then there ended endless. another yeah. friendship. Yeah, I was like, brilliant, thanks. <laughs> and you still talk to them. <laughs> yeah, That's just remarkable. about. So, yeah. She's a great lady. She's a great lady. I love it. Um, and what was your first job? So my first job, so I kind of came out of university. I went to London College of Fashion. London College of Fashion. I actually went to the wrong interview. Classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went to go and do the HND. And I seemed to walk into the interview with the uh, BA. My dad was like, how did you do that? I went, I don't know. But I convinced her I was going to be a makeup artist. And she was basically asking me to join, <laughs> join yeah, things. So I, I went, love yeah, it. Fine. I love it. So I kind of got in there flukishly. Mm. Um, and then I did that for three years and um, I one of the first jobs I got I actually phoned a lady called Jackie Tyson who's an amazing makeup artist mm. and I did work experience with her when I was 15 mm. and I went to Top of the Pops and it was amazing and mm. I basically just called her up and I went I don't know if you remember me but I did some work experience with you like seven years ago mm. could I maybe come and do some work with you or mm. if you're free or whatever and she was like yeah actually I've got a job coming up called Band-Aid and I went 
don't really know what that no. is. That was really bad, but I didn't really know what it was. Um, and she was like, there's a new one basically coming up called Band Aid 20. And this was mm. in 2004. And she was like, I need someone to go and powder people. And I was like, yeah, sure. Wow. And then you turn up and you're face to face with every single <gasps> humongous artist oh of that my time. Oh, that's pretty impressive. First so, job. I didn't yeah. know that was the first job she was going to tell me. That was wicked. So Amazing. I was like, and then I, I kind of you. thought, yeah. And I love you. Yeah, I, love I was you. trying to be really cool. <laughs> um, but, and that's, yeah, when I kind of met two of the other makeup artists that I work with all the time now. Um, and yeah, that was kind of my first assisting role, yeah. really, that yeah. I, I came along with. And that was a pretty big deal. I was like, That's oh amazing. my, yeah, it was amazing. It was, am yeah, it was one of the best times ever. And I think it's one of those things you're like, oh, God, every single top person. of the scene, yeah. regardless of anything yeah. you do. Yeah, I don't care about anything oh, else, yeah. <laughs> so how did you get into TV? So Jackie, who I assisted Thank on that, um, she then phoned me up and was like, look, I've got this new show. I did it last year, but I think it's going to take off. Um, mm. Do you want to come and be part of the assistants, you know, doing all the dances? Oh, and I was fact. like, yeah, sure, what's it called? And she went, X Factor. And I went, a real mentor. yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, and I still see her to this day. I saw her a couple of weeks ago. Oh. And yeah, and I did that for five years until that's... then I went to Strictly. So, so that's, that's, that's yeah. when, you know, people, creative people who are sharing yeah with their skills and talents that's like so fantastic oh fantastic. she's she's literally the coolest person ever and mm. i call her my makeup mum oh. because she's just so <laughs> such a wonderful human being and she was always very encouraging of me you know she basically said when strictly came up as an option um she was like go you're you've already kind of done your work mm. here you know what you're doing like go and do something different and that that that's so important when you're kind yeah. of mentoring someone to actually totally. not be jealous of them and not hold them back, but mm. actually let them fly yes. a little bit. Yeah. And I always found that really amazing with her because since then I've found that it's not always like that. And mm. she's mm. she's amazing. She still works constantly. Mm. She does really cool rock stars. Nice. She's awesome. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. So uh, any backstage gossip? Bernie. You know that what's ever said in the makeup chair never leaves the makeup chair. Oh. That is the one rule. What about all learn. that stuff you told me before we got on the cab? Oh yeah, that stuff. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I mean, obviously. No? Right. Okay. That's good. Moving on then. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so, um, celebs must absolutely love working with you though, because I think. One can hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still got a job. I've still got a job. I mean, that's Frequently. basically, that's what we're talking about. I'm still working. So, I mean, you hope so. I mean, you just, it's people that you bond with or people that you don't. You but it's personality. You know, you, you know, I can say unique. this because she's next to me. But you, <laughs> no, because you're, you're warm and vibrant and positive. And I think if someone sits in your chair, they would feel safe in your hands because women so. fu are fundamentally very vulnerable. Yeah. And I think the one thing I'd say about, I mean, everyone's like, oh gosh, you must be an amazing artist. Yeah, I think obviously there's an element of you've got to be good, otherwise you wouldn't still be in the job. But the other part of it is huge people skills. And I think mm. the people skills is actually much bigger than the makeup skill. Mm. I think as soon as someone sits in my chair, I pretty much have to read them straight away. Mm. I have to figure out if they're nervous, if they're angry, if they're annoyed, mm. if they're, you know, if emotionally they're upset by something that's happened or anything yeah. like that. You just have to really, you have to kind of, even though, you know, it, something could be going on with you as well, personally, but you have mm. to put all that aside and it's all about them. And I think right. that that's the most important thing is making sure that someone feels safe yeah. and they trust you. And yeah. that's hard to do within like 10 seconds of going. And yeah. also you're touching someone's face straight away. I mean, yes. that's kind of, it's, it's a very personal mm. thing. You know, you don't mm. really want someone like touching yeah, your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. only just met you, get yeah, off. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So do you have any sort of magic kind of like chill that kind of vibes, you know, is that like something you know you do that kind of makes them go, oh, I like her. I think if you, it sounds weird, but I, I always like prep the skin before I do makeup, sure. which a lot of makeup artists do do and some don't, which I find odd. Mm. But I think that's the best way for me to, I have to be able to instantly touch the face to see what I'm working with, mm. if you know what I mean. So you can tell if it's dry. Well, in case it's, it's plastic. Well, yeah, how much, <laughs> how much work has been done, where to touch, where not to touch. Um, and I often use really lovely smelling products. So like, mm. I love to use a toner that's got, you know, I don't like to use too many artificial smells, but I mm. like things that have got a good smell. Mm. Um, so I always cleanse the skin and that instantly helps people. And mm. then I obviously, you know, I love moisturizers that have got a really nice scent to it, or, but also do their job. Mm. So I'm quite particular Any about favorites? that. 
Well, actually, the Bobby Brown vitamin rich in face space. Have you ever smelled that? Yeah. Oh my I god. Know. That's what I get yeah. every time someone's like, "Oh, that's amazing." Oh, that's good. So yeah, I yeah, do yeah. love that, yeah. and it, and foundation and everything sits on yeah. it beautifully. And I think also they don't expect that from Bobby Brown. So no, it's never. Quite a surprise them. Yeah. They think it's yeah. 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 I like that one. So I do yeah. love that, and I think that helps. And also just your your energy. Don't be too frantic. You know, mm. ask them how they are and how's their day. You know, mm. just your tone and everything has to be quite. You know trying to make them feel relaxed mm. so I mean fingers crossed I do it <laughs> but if you knew me you'd be like no I thought that was excellent <laughs> I think we can definitely do that hope you enjoyed Joe on the go and thank you for watching please like follow subscribe to my various channels on Instagram, YouTube, and do check out my lifestyle and wellness blog, Living It Up, on jogbliving.com.